Well, Merry Christmas night to everybody. We are coming to you from downtown St. Augustine, Florida, and we are here for the Knights of Lights Festival. Now, did a little research on this festival, and this started in the city of St. Augustine in 1993. That's the year we were married, by the way. Yep. Uh, and the reason it started, I, I found this interesting, that the mayor at the time, Lynn Weeks, actually took a vacation to, uh, it didn't name the town, but it said a town in Tennessee that uh, decked out for lights in the holidays. A lot of lights. Yeah, so don't know what town that might have been. I, I suspect maybe Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge. That was our guess. Yeah, not sure. Uh, they wouldn't name the town, so I thought maybe it was one of those two. But uh, anyway, but prior to that time, St. Augustine businesses generally just closed up early on Christmas and there wasn't a lot going on. Uh, as you can see tonight, there's a lot going on. So um, anyway, they started the Knights of Lights Festival. This has grown to one of the top 10 lights displays in the world. And that's what I, I found that out this week. So we're happy to be back tonight. So uh, we're glad to be here at the Knights of Lights. So thank y'all for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. Again, our walk through the St. Augustine Knights of Lights. Uh, the most lights are found down at the what's called the Plaza uh, down in the, uh, on King Street. So we're going to make our way there last. But we're starting right here at the St. Augustine City Gates, right here at the beginning of historic St. George Street. And some places on St. George are really nice. Uh, most businesses are not really decorated that much. So we're gonna walk through there first. Then we're gonna walk through the Bayfront area. And finish up down at the, the plaza down at King Street. St. George Street is absolutely packed here on Christmas night. And there's only a very few things that are open, but the street is still completely full. We've taken that twice. We're going to do it again tonight, but they changed their pricing policy. You have to pay not by a person now. Each row seats four people. There's only two of us, but you have to pay for a whole row. And we thought, well, 
We'll do that and find another couple who wants to ride, and we'll just go in half for the road. But you have to do it online. You can't do it there at the window. So uh, we would have to pay for the whole road for two people, even though there's four seats on the road. So that's why we didn't. But, but it is a lot of fun, as you can tell.
tours going by and they told the passengers to find the red and green light and Shaughnessy discovered it as we were walking through. Out of all these clear lights, you have a red and green light together. I would never have known that if I hadn't heard the trolley tour guide saying that. I never would have been thinking to look for it. I wouldn't either. <laughs> It is a very crowded, very festive atmosphere tonight, is it not? Yes, it is. But this is what they call the, um, well, the plaza for short. I know it's got another name, Constitutiano or something, I think. of it but that's the name I've given it because my little Yorkie Pierre we used to get many pictures of him stuffed into the um, inside of that there and Rovier would stand on top so we're gonna try it with these two we still have Rovier I, really I, I don't know if Renoir is gonna Renoir is a very skittish dog right there. Right there. Renoir look at me buddy good job guys Right over here.
All right, folks, we do hope you enjoyed this video of the Knights of Lights in St. Augustine, Florida. Um, what a night, very festive, a lot of people in town. Even on Christmas night, just uh, thousands of people walking the street. Yep, a but lot of lights. A lot of lights to see, uh, a lot of beautiful uh, lit up businesses, old homes. Uh, you know, this is a, uh, the oldest city in the United States, so there's a lot of uh, colonial Spanish type uh, buildings here, and it's just really, really neat with the lights and uh, the way they're adorned that way. It's just really nice. So, do you got anything you want to say about it? I just love it. I think it's beautiful. Definitely worth a trip here to come and see. Yes, it is. This is our third time down here, 2014, then again, I think in 2018. And we decided we want to come down here tonight and bring y'all a video of this special place. We love St. Augustine. We love it even when it's not this time of year, but just something about the lights adds to it. It does. So um, anyway, I'm going to go back and try to get started on this video. Probably not going to be up until tomorrow. We spent over three hours shooting this video tonight. I thought I told her we'll be uptown an hour tops. Uh, didn't work out that way. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go back to the room and try to work on it a little bit and hope you enjoy it. So if you do like this video, like and subscribe. And find and follow us on Facebook. And have a wonderful and blessed evening and a happy new year.